Hello musicians, my name is Andrew Mercer and we're looking at Mason's Apron. Uh, Mason's Apron is in the key of A major, well that's what we're going to play it in. I guess you can play it in any key really, but we're playing it in A major. Now A major has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. When we play the A major scale now, that's going to help us get set up to play Mason's Apron. Very important to be able to play the scale that the song is in. So it's going to start in the A string and we're going to play it one octave up and down. Okay, first we're going to play it through slowly, and we're going to listen for tuning. When we get to the top note, I want you to stop and tune with the open A string. I'll demonstrate. Here we go. Now I'm at the top of the A scale. That's an A on the E string, third finger, and I'm going to tune that note against the open E string to make sure I'm the open A string to make sure I am still in tune. find that note is not in tune, then you should tune it. Here we go. Let's go down the scale now. Okay, now let's try it again. You can play it with me, same speed. Okay, all the way up and down without stopping. Ready, and... So that was uh, obviously slow, and when you play it slow like that, think about your tuning. Make sure you're in tune. Now we're going to play at moderate speed, and this time I want you to think about how much bow you're going to use for Mason's Apron. Mason's Apron is kind of quick, so you want to use small bows. So let's try the scale through at a moderate speed, and let's try to use small bows, and make sure we get a nice tone that we're looking for. A little bit of advice, before you start the scale, let's play a few open strings, moderate speed. Mason's apron has a lot of bite to the note, so you want to make sure that you get a nice bite to your string. So a little bit of extra weight through your first finger as you turn your arm in. And if you're not sure about how to do that, you might want to watch the video on your right hand and the index finger for uh, for your bow. Okay, here we go. Let's just try this. A little open string to get some nice tone. Okay, that's a nice tone that we'd use. Nice short bows too for Mason's apron. Okay, now let's try the scale at that speed. One, two, ready, and. And you can see I'm getting a nice bit of bite into the string. Every string, every note has been starting out with a nice strong ictus, a bit of a pop at the beginning. Okay, now let's uh, try the third time through the scale. We're gonna play at the speed that we were playing Mason's apron. Now again, it goes this speed. So we want our scale to be nice and quick. So this time when we look at our scale, we're going to try to make sure the coordination between our right hand and left hand is nice and tight. And this is all getting ready to play the song. So let's just try a couple of open strings first to get rid of the speed. Maybe run this fast. Okay, so now let's try and get our fingers going together. One, two, one, and two, and. Mm. Now, if you've had trouble with that, you may want to slow it down a little bit. And keep going until you can bring that speed up to the speed you're playing Mason's Apron. Because Mason's Apron is going to go at a nice clip, you want to make sure that you can at least play the scale at that speed. So... So... That's the speed we want our scale. Now that wasn't very clean. On the way down, I missed up a couple of notes on the way back, so I'd work that through. Maybe slow it down a peck to tie it up. Up to speed again. That's better. Now one little uh, last thing I'll mention about the scale and getting fast scale patterns. <clears throat> if you're finding it difficult to get a fast pattern, try alternating slow and fast notes between each note of the of the run. For example, long, short, long, short, long. That kind of way. You know, like that, and go up right up the scale and back down again. And then after you get that nice and smooth, reverse the longs and the shorts. So then you'll go. So let me demonstrate it through the scale. 
then you can turn it around. Long, short, long, short. And then you put it together back every equal note. That's a great way to get scales and running passages up to speed. Okay, so that's the scale part. Um, if you are going through these uh, these these section these videos, make sure you watch the full lesson on Mason's apron because there are some tricky little parts into it that we're going to address. And then I'm also going to be giving you the uh, the accompaniment you can play along with, and I'm going to be playing along with you so you can try it at a couple of different speeds to play with me to help you get through it. So. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, please, and leave comments below if you like. Any kind of questions or recommendations, uh, feel free. And uh, go on to the next video in this series, and good luck with it. See you next time.